What I'm holding here uh, is a Black Hill spruce. It naturally has a nice dense form. So if we're thinking about this as a living Christmas tree or tabletop tree, you know, you can pretty well envision if this had a few lights and a few balls on it, that it might be something you could have on a office or something like that on a, on a countertop or an apartment, maybe have it up, sitting up on a table. The other thing we like about these is they are hardy here in Michigan. Uh, they'll grow quite well in our landscape. So if someone wants to have this as a living Christmas tree, and then plant it out after the holidays, you know, we can recommend this in good conscience. One of the things I get questions about is what, what's going on in terms of the Christmas tree industry and what types of changes. Uh, several different things that we see here in Michigan. One is you know, shifts in species, shifts in consumer preferences. Uh, traditionally, we used to grow a lot of Scott's pine, for example. We still have you know, a, a market segment there, but more and more growers are interested in, and consumers are interested in having uh, things like Fraser fir. So some of these uh, trees that have maybe a little more uh, elegant look to them, if you will. This would be a nice example of a Fraser fir. We're growing this here in our in our pot and pot system. These uh, we like the, the nice soft needles. Also, uh, we'll have a nice dark green color and then the sort of silvery underside to them. So a very elegant appearance. They tend to have uh, a very symmetrical form. So it's, it really is a, a nice a nice tree. This is a, a young scotch pine. These are very tough trees. They'll grow on a lot of sites. For, so for growers, um, you know, they might not be able to grow Fraser fir because Fraser fir are very specific on, on the sites where they'll grow. Whereas scotch pine, we're almost saying very drought hardy, very cold hardy, a tough tree for, for tough place kind of thing. We're the number three Christmas tree producing state in the country, behind only Oregon and, and North Carolina. Uh, about $40 million worth of sales each year. And one of the uh, key characteristics of the Michigan industry is that we grow a wide variety of, of species. So we'll grow Fraser fir, blue spruce, scotch pine, white pine, Douglas fir, black hill spruce, uh, con color fir. There's a whole range of, of species that Michigan growers will, will produce. The other thing is we see a shift, uh, more interest in uh, choose and cut type of operations as compared to large wholesale growers. People talk about the experience economy, so it's not just a family going out to buy a tree, but they want, you know, the wagon ride, the hot chocolate, the bonfire, you know, the reindeer petting, all that that goes along with it. So it becomes more of a family event, family experience, as much as it is about, about getting the tree.